Let me share a story with you. On Feb 2025, our school's 11th annual day performance was uploaded on YouTube. It was a proud moment for all of us. Almost a month of preparation, creativity, and teamwork was captured in a single video. We were so excited to share it with the world. But after it went live, we got very few views, and now it's almost impossible to find. Not trending, not recommended, not even showing up in search. The video wasn't taken down. It's still there, just buried, buried by the algorithm. And that's when it hit me. It wasn't about not trying hard enough or lacking talent. It was simply that the algorithm didn't choose us. And that's a strange thing to realize because growing up, we were told that if we worked hard, stayed honest and gave our best, the world would notice. But what happens when the world is no longer a person, but a program? When social media first came into our lives, we felt like freedom. We could be anything we wanted, an artist, a singer, or just someone with big ideas. The internet was a giant playground where everyone had a chance to showcase their talent and shine. But slowly, something shifted. We stopped deciding what we see and something else started to decide for us. That something is the algorithm. Not a person, not a critic. Just a line of code silently curating our world based on clicks, likes, shares, and scroll time. And let's be honest, it's pretty good at keeping us hooked. But is it showing what matters or just what performs? When did the internet stop being a stage and become a machine? We don't scroll to explore anymore. We scroll to survive the boredom. And every swipe is just another spin of wheel hoping something good will show up, which rarely does. We usually think creativity as painting or music. But it's way more than that. It's how we solve problems, how we imagine, explore, and build a future. And our future desperately needs a lot of creative thinkers to face global warming, rising traffic issues, mental health struggles, and yes, even AI itself to deal with. But here's a twist. How are we supposed to think outside the box when the algorithm keeps putting us right back inside one? What we see online, that's just a tip of an iceberg. Beneath the surface lies a sea of incredible work, brilliant videos, creative thinkers, and unique ideas. All hidden, unseen, ignored. Not because they're not good, but because they didn't perform. The algorithm doesn't show us the depth. It shows what's clickable. Yes, it reflects our preferences, but it also changes what we like before we even notice. And sometimes, like our school video, it just buries them completely. The algorithm listens to your behavior. So let's make noise for things that matter. What I learned from missing our video, at first, I was upset. What did the platform I trust my creativity hire it? But then I saw the bigger picture. We've allowed algorithms to become the curators of our generation's creativity. We've started to value what fits more than what matters. But that doesn't have to be the end of the story. As you scroll through your feed, you may notice the same thing Kirby Ferguson said. Everything looks the same, sounds the same, is the same. And true, I know the feeling. When our video was uploaded, we were so happy. But then it disappeared. Not erased, just invisible. And that's when I realized the algorithm isn't just showing us what's popular, but quietly erasing everything that isn't. But here's the thing. 
we still have a choice. Let's use AI, but not become slaves to it. Let's step back. Let's return to originality, to books, to journals, to libraries, places where we choose the story, not a machine. Let's wander into the dark forest of internet. Quiet corners where your curiosity leads. Not autoplay, not vending tabs, not suggested reels. Let's choose to make, not just consume. To seek wonder, not just what's viral. To follow our hearts, not just a line of code. Because the future doesn't need more clicks. It needs more courage. It needs artists. It needs thinkers. It needs people who care enough to try. It needs you and it needs me. So here's my invitation to you, not just as a speaker on the stage, but as a fellow human navigating this digital maze. Next time you watch a video, read a post, or share something, ask yourself, am I choosing this? Or was it chosen for me? Let's reclaim that choice. Let's become digital citizens with intention, not just passive consumer. To seek art that challenges you. Share voices that are quiet but powerful. We're not here to impress an algorithm. We're here to move each other. And that's what being a human truly means. The best way to beat the algorithm is to stop trying to please it. Create what moves you. Post because you believe in something, not because you expect a million likes. The goal isn't to go viral. The goal is to be real. I'd like to end this with a short poetry. Dear AI, write our words, you draw our skies. You paint with code and pixel eyes. But let us still, with trembling hand, shape wild dreams from grains of sand. Don't take the brush, just hold the light to guide us through our darkest night. Don't case the muse, don't seal the pen, or we may never dream again. Sing with us, not in our place. Leave room for flaws, for joy, and for grace. We birthed you, not to steal the flame, but help us fan it, not to play the game. Thank you.